every one of these windows. Let's open every one of these windows. It's a three key function. Each Allen key works kind of like a double function. The reason why it works a double function is because it's got these little nips on it. All right, these little, these little protrusions off the end of it. And what that does is it, it gets into the lock. Okay, if these locks don't accept this on a horizontal, if by any reason it doesn't just go right in and turn it, it's because this lock was never locked with one of these Allen keys. It was locked with a regular Allen key that fits the Allen key but doesn't fit the tabs that stick out off of it. So for that, I have one Allen key that I have one Allen key that was ground down. The tabs are ground off of it. And basically that goes in. Now it's all the way locked. Now I can put one of the tabs in, no problem, and it opens. Alright? Um, I'll show it to you on this one. So we will go in. This is the key for this barrel lock. The barrel locks are all, you open the barrel lock first, undo these, and now because of the tabs, these become handy, and they let you open the window. That's basically, um, upon the other function is the blinds. Let's just go through this. Close, you lock first, lock first, lock first, they all come out, and then the barrel lock gets locked last, and out it comes. That's basically the operation of it. As far as, let me just make sure to which one of these it is. I think it's this one. This is a regular Allen, and this is for the security type. This is for the security type areas. There are other areas that have, instead of an Allen key, offices where people are going to work, they have knobs that work the blinds. Um, oh, let me make you one last thing about these blinds. And that is how you would change out a blind. These blinds. You want to come and take a look at it because it's going to be something that you have to look at a little closer. They do two things. They have a ring, and it comes down, they have a little catch hook down here, holds the blinds up in the air. Alright? If you have a problem with these blinds, the snap trim comes off the inside, and you can see the rail system and how it works. It's basically just a wire to this that has a barrel nut that has one little flat spot on this. Okay. All right? And the barrel nut sets like this. So they work like this, and to remove this, you would basically, the blinds just pop down, and you would remove the little clips okay. that are on the side here that Phillips screws are not security screws oh, okay. on the inside. And you would un undo the barrel nut that's there, mm -hmm. and that would let this rod Free, free of up. this. You pop these down just by putting on them oh. and popping the back out. Oh, and see, and if this clip was removed, this right Allen would just, this would come right out. Okay. We have back stock that we turned over to the facilities on all of these blind setups. Oh, okay. So if one was ever needed to be replaced, it could be. see them, you know, those termination blinds. If one's yeah. ever flipped over, you turn them all the way one way, turn them all the way the other way, and they'll all come back into, they'll all come back into line. Um, anything else that I could 
tell you about this. And you kind of understand. Yeah, understand that, yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. pretty simple. Exactly. The, alley, the alleys that go to the east mm -hmm. are they Very are perfect. the smallest alley on any. You know, they're really, really tiny. I think oh, it's, it's the, the, last, the last one, right there. Okay. Perfect. Now, mm -hmm. are you turning over these tools to the state when they hand it over? Uh, they have. They have. They have okay, sets. Yes, they do. Um, they have sets. They're all full sets, and they also have. Um, I think somewhere is in the neighborhood of, of thirty or so of these. Okay. There, if these oh, if these casters ever go on you, oh, they're called gem locks. If gem these locks, gem locks right. ever. Yeah ever fail on you, which we replaced a lot of them, but, you know. Mm -hmm. And they also uh, have the information we order to hold that as well, right? For yes, I'm sure they do. I hope so. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure information like that could be turned yeah, over, right? Yeah. Yeah. Replacement you guys are going to also get, there's a, 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 a photo and a manual for the windows, for mm -hmm. the security windows that make sure we can finish the blinds, yeah. and also on the um, inside screen and on the exterior. Um, so both those manuals should be turned over to you. That's the best thing. You got um, what else on these guys? Is there any other questions that you might have on these operations? We're, we're supposed to show them how to change the hardware, yeah, or nice. describe how to change the hardware if we needed to. Okay. Um, and then, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. I can just pop just, you know. Well, well any, yeah, any, yeah, hardware, hardware. any hardware changes, like you have these blocks, these set blocks. Mm -hmm. I mean, do, do you want me to go get all of the, do you want me to actually get a gem lock and go get that's up to them. Like yeah, it's up to you. If you want, I'll go. I'll go get a couple of. I'll go get a couple of these and show you how they come apart. Simple how to do that. Yeah. Well, that's just basically another yeah. gem lock, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah, let yeah. Me, let me, just, yeah. Let, 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 let me just go get a screwdriver. I'll show you how they come apart. I've got a little ratchet screwdriver. Right. That's it, basically. Yeah, that's screw. the reverse. All right. My suggestion is always to do the gem lock first. Always do the gem lock first? Instead yeah. of the tail my catch. Uh, um, yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, there's a, always an open tab that receives this. So that would be that would be in the down that. right now. Right. All right. And it's to the right. Now uh, this is coming down with the open. And there we go. All right. That's it. Want to do the uh, Absolutely. I'll okay. do that. So to replace these gem locks, hmm. this is one thing we can do. are little screws. Okay. They like to fall. Oh yeah. So this screw pops out. This latch is in the up position. And it's important to note it when you take it out, mm -hmm. because if you see, it's got an oval type receiver. That's it's actually an insert. Um, so you have this is your stop washer that stops the gem in its position. Okay. And once these two come off. tight up against the wall sometimes. You did a good job installing them then. <laughs> and that's how a gem lock pops. There's a spacer in here okay. that just remains. If any of these ever have to be taken out, See that, see that little tab on the back yes. side of the gem lock that sticks out? That's where this stop washer stops its motion. Okay. That's, that's what this is all about. So, can you look at it? Sure. That's the stop washer, that's the gem lock. It has a tab where the stop washer stops in its correct position. Tabs go down. 
take a look at this lock. This lock through up, right? So it opens up. You insert this washer. It can only go one way because it's oval. Well, it can go one way or flip, so it can either go either or. But you just want to make sure when you put the gem lock back together that the stop tab on the lock is at the bottom. It throws so that the key stays in the locked position. These gems only have one locked position where the key won't come out once it's under that spring pressure that it has. Mm -hmm. So it's basically that stays there so that this stays in when it's unlocked and you can function the door opening it without it pulling out. Stop washers inserted. Catch is inserted. And now the fun thing of getting this little screw started. Quite simple, there's not many parts and pieces to it. It's just remembering the tab positions. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. This is an important piece. Um, what else can I tell you about? As far as these blocks are concerned, it's th um, three Phillips screws that hold those blocks in. Um, it doesn't matter what position the camber is in, whether it's out or in, if you remove these three screws, that camber is part of the lock setup, but it's not like attached to it. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when this comes out, the whole thing just removes. The camera oh, comes, you know, it's, it's not inserted very far into the door um, because you, it doesn't even stick out the mm -hmm. other side of that thickness of aluminum. Yeah. So it's just kind of like lays just in the little hole there. And it, it just comes out. You take these two screws out, pop it out. If, if by right. chance one goes bad, mm -hmm. you take one of the new ones they have in back stock, put it into the same hole. Okay. Um, if you want, I could show you, but no, I'd have no, to. I'd have to go like get it. one of these. No, no, no. Actually, I turned it over, so they would have to give me one. Mm -hmm. um, and that's basically it. You know, these keys are made so that they go into the lot. When they're in the open position, they stay in the blanked out okay. spot on the gem lock itself, and that keeps them. It's like a key. Yeah. I have one question. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That. The inside it has like little clips to remove the glass if they ever break it. This is plexi. Can't be broke. They'll break it, believe it. They broke clay. They broke the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know? I, 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 yeah, I don't believe okay. we have back stock on mm -hmm. the plexi. Um, but if you were to have to replace this plexi, there's just clips this, in it. Right? Stops, yeah, you see these screws? 
Okay. Those screws mm -hmm. on each point, at each point where those screws are inserted. Okay. You would have to take those screws out. Then the whole interior Come right comes out. out. I mean, you would have to remove your blinds and your mm -hmm. brackets and such. Um, and then you have, you'd remove it and replace it just okay, the perfect. same way all of these stops okay. come off. And you can see these are all Phillips. Yeah. So right, they're, not, they're not started. Thank you. All right. Well, if we're done with this, is there anything else that That's I can tell you about this that you guys are? The whole yeah. building is flexible. Everything. No. All of the oh. all of the interior, interior security windows. These. Are all okay. Flexible. All throughout the building are all flexible, and the outside Correct. is glass. Yes. You just have to run through um, how to replace the glazing on the exterior. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll go to the exterior, but if we're if we're good with this, yeah, you guys are good with this. Thank you. Okay. Your piece. Yeah. Yeah. You have to put that back? Yeah. And these just have a little slot cut out for that top cable mm -hmm. to operate. And they just press on, snap on. As you can see, you vest off opening and closing this slowly so that the blinds don't kind of become in disarray. We'll call it that. Alright. I'm going to do one more just because I want to take a rubber band out. <laughs> Sometimes, just because of their weight, mm -hmm. my suggestion is don't leave the big ones open okay. for days at a time mm -hmm. because I can't see any reason why you would. They yeah, they, they tend to, the mm -hmm. weight just tends to sag them a little bit. Um, but that's about it. If, if anything happens, just give this a little lift as you close when it hits the blocks and it functions fine. I, um, that one, these are all insulated units. Okay. They're inch thick. They're a little better. The way these are, are replaced is that these caps have to be pried off okay. with a, I mean, you know, crowbar, flat bar, blazing bar, any kind of a, any yeah. kind of thing that'll give you a little bit of leverage. You get under the rubber gasket, okay. the caps pry off of a center race. The same with these caps. The vertical caps are the same thing. You get a bar in here, you get underneath that rubber. You cut, I would always start like at the your end, mm -hmm. you know, top or bottom, don't start in the middle, you'll fight it for a long time. Um, I don't know if you guys will ever be doing this kind of glass replacement, but the procedure is these come off, the window is glazed to the tube system aluminum tube system on the back side. These windows are not put in with, they're, they're, they're fixed and glazed too. Okay. Um, they don't have, there's no screws holding on pressure bars. This oh, is right. one unit beauty cap. Okay. So once these beauty caps come off, the unit has to be deglazed. Okay. That means that all of the uh, glazing, the caulking, yeah. structural, has to be 
cut from the back side of the unit up against the glass. Um, there's different ways and tactics about it, but basically uh, a, winch, a windshield tool, I don't know if you've ever seen those on a windshield tool, they work real well on them. You can do it from the inside also, mm -hmm. but it's easier to just do it from the exterior. Once the window is deglazed, the unit's removed, then the tube is then cleaned all the way to the aluminum. Right. You have to remove all the old glazing mm -hmm. from the tube line, uh, alcohol wiped down, the new window is then set depending on whether it's a spandrel piece that you can access from the interior or a clear vision light is the difference between the procedure that you would use to reglaze the window. If it's a spandrel piece, you can't get to it from the interior, so you would use butyl tape, which is quarter inch thick. It would go around the perimeter of the tube, so it's just encasing. Then you would shoot everything wet. You would shoot that one inch by quarter inch thickness with new glazing, mm -hmm. and you would set the window into the glazing. Okay. That's when you can't get to it because it's a spandrel unit and there's ceilings in the way. Floors, ceilings, mm -hmm. however. When you're doing a vision light like this, you would, you would butyl tape the new glazed unit that you're putting in, you would butyl tape the edge of the unit, you would set that unit into position on its, on its blocks, on its, on its uh, setting blocks, mm -hmm. and you would glaze from the interior. You would fill all your glazing from the interior with the butyl tape capturing because mm -hmm. right okay. it's on the edge of glass. We're actually um, going to be replacing a spandrel piece next week, so if you guys are here and you want to Yeah, you want to hook close in person yeah. visual of it, <laughs> uh -huh. we'll give it to you, no all doubt. Right, cool. um, and it's, it's a difficult piece, so... Um, but yeah, uh, you know, replacing the beauty caps, once, you know, once the unit basically they give you whatever the cork time, the lead time is on the corking to dry, okay. you would, oh, I'm missing one thing. After the unit is glazed, after it's installed, whether it be spandrel or not, these temp clips, which are these same extrusions of material, only cut into chunks. All right. And just use a screw and temp all of that in until whatever time glazing is calling for whatever glazing you use. Mm -hmm. We were using the, the, what was it, the end, the 21? We were using 121. 121, yeah. right. The 121 is a 24 hour uh, okay. pretty much setup time. It's got a way faster cure time than the regular glazing. There's a detail of uh, this whole glazing procedure in the, the manual. All right. Yep. Thank you. Um, and I also found a copy of it, so I also have a copy of it if you want that I could turn over to. Um, so once once the unit is set, once the blazing is dry, mm -hmm. it's a period of time, then you replace the beauty caps that you removed. You know, and you try to remove them gingerly so yeah. that you don't destroy them or distort them. And they just they just you use a rubber mallet or a block of wood and you just hammer them back on. Oh, okay. You know, little pressure against them, and then just smack them with a hammer and a block mm -hmm. and a rubber mallet, and they snap into position. They snap in. They create a gasketed seal on the facing of the glass, okay. um, somewhat sealed. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember, these units all these units are all uh, curtain wall units that that mm -hmm. will will be drained. Yeah. All right. That's pretty much it on, on that. You know, if there's if you do have to cut any perimeter caulking, sometimes the unit will be up against the wall yeah. as such, where you would have to cut. Oh, somebody stepped in this stuff, so be careful, guys. Don't look down, you gotta look down. Sometimes you'll have to cut this glazing out. Okay. You will replace this glass, you move this cap, you cut this glazing. Okay. To remove this piece of glass, this sun shade would have to come off. Oh, okay. And then yeah, when you so remove yeah. these, they would slip past. And you probably have to remove this halfway up, at least to that second horizontal, just to be able to pull them out far enough 
Interior hollow metal frame glass replacement is about the easiest procedure for replacing glass as possible. They're all screwed in. They have tamper-proof screws that we have to switch out to. So uh, I believe they're T15s, okay. tamper-proof 15s, um, which is nothing more than a torque screw with a tamper-proof dot. Um, the screws come out. The stops are not glazed on the stop side. But the window is glazed, I mean, it's, it's got caulking silicone. silicone on the frame side. Okay. So before we set the glass, we shoot it, we set the glass, and then we apply our stops again, and we fasten the stops. That's basically it. The stops come off, mm -hmm. the glass gets cut out from the back side. You want another guy here on this side, you know, always have another guy yeah. when, you're, when you're taking a piece of glass out. But yeah, you cut the caulking out on the other side, remove, re uh, clean the frame, you know, get all the old cork off the frame, re -caulk, and then set your glass, put your things on. All glass is set on rubber blocks. That's what we Just have. so that you know, any, anytime you're setting a piece of glass, it all goes down on rubber blocks, and you try to get your heights right with mm -hmm. your band, if, if there is a band around glass. The interior stuff doesn't have the bands. The insulated units do. That's Perfect. about it, guys.